Gold medal makes her the all-around best gymnast of these games. For thousands of Metro Detroiters, it's something more special than that. She's the first Hmong American to be on a U.S. Olympic team and the first to bring home a medal. That's batting a thousand. Grant Herms joins us now with more, and he spoke with a leader in Michigan's Hmong community today. Grant. Hey, Devin. You know, Michigan is home to about 6,000 Hmong Americans, and Lee's big victory is really creating a lot of buzz in their communities, and they're hoping that it'll spread some curiosity about a heritage where a lot is often little known. The story of Suni Lee is no doubt inspiring, becoming the first American on an Olympic team with Hmong heritage, the East Asian ethnic minority that was forced to flee China and Laos after being recruited by the U.S. during the Vietnam War. Refugees forced to leave, afraid for their lives. Many Hmong refugees eventually coming to the U.S. and many coming to the upper Midwest and Metro Detroit, like the family of Mai Zhang, Michigan's first elected Hmong American. A commissioner in Macomb County, she also owns a clothing store in Warren, where many Hmong descendants now live. To see SUNY win, you know, a gold medal and be the first Hmong American uh, in the Olympics, and, and to win a gold medal, I mean, that's a really big deal for our community. Images of Lee standing on the podium, her family celebrating, Hmong families across Metro Detroit celebrating right alongside. I have young girls and I know now that they can have someone to look up to, someone that looks like them. Something she says she didn't have when she was a little girl herself. When you watch TV or you see someone on, on screen, they don't look like you, and then you almost think that, you know, you don't belong. Inside Zhang's store are handmade patterns modeled after the same ones used by her family to tell stories for centuries, each repeated symbol representing something specific. And now in Sunisa Lee, a modern-day symbol they share with all Americans. Her symbol would be a star because, you know, that, that is what she is. She, she's our star. Ms. Jung says that she and her kids have been watching video clips online of Lee all day long, as many as that they could find. She said she's always proud to be an American monk, but today it means something just a little bit more special. Back to you. No doubt. It was thrilling. All right, Grant, let's talk about what you